we talk about the adjustments, uh, playing different angles, uh, playing with different pieces of equipment, changing our speed, changing our loft, probably the most misunderstood is the release. I want to try to simplify that, and we have simplified it. And one reason it's gotten more simplified because of the great bowling balls we make at Legends and Lane Masters. And, and the bowling balls that are made in the, in the world of bowling today, we don't have to cock the hand as much. What we do is we do two things, real simple. I want you to go practice these two things. Practice it diligently, and you're going to really improve your ability to change your release and change the arc. Talk about two things with the release. We talk about the wrist. We talk about the wrist being straight. A lot of people just have that wrist in that straight position. Well, that's good when the lanes are medium. That's the medium wrist position. Now, when the lanes are oily, we want to load it. Or we used to refer to it as cupped. We like to call that loaded. We firm that wrist up. An inch and a half, two inches. Don't overdo it. We're not talking 90 degrees. Just firm that wrist up. That puts the hand under the ball. Now, let's say that the lanes are dry, then we relax the wrist, we sort of break it back. We call it unloaded. Now the hand's on top of the ball. As you can see, we have the hand on top of the ball, we have behind the ball, and we have under the ball. That's a huge adjustment right there. When you start talking about the, the wrist positions, if you can learn all three, if you can learn to load that wrist or have it straight and relax it, you can learn this stuff. Go to the center and practice it. It's like a major league baseball pitcher. We've used this for years, throwing different pitches. It's like hitting different shots in golf, same way in bowling. Our game don't get the respect because these are little subtle things that people don't know and don't see. If the lanes are dry, you better relax that wrist down a little bit. If the lanes are medium, so you start out medium. You say, what are the lanes tonight? Oh, they're slick. I'm going to firm my wrist up a little and get a little more on it. Okay, well, I'm going to relax my wrist. These lanes are dry. So wrist action, that's number one. Practice all three. Then the second part is the rotation. We have three rotations. We hold the ball and right, that ball right in the palm of the hand. And if the equator were standing up, we want our fingers on the inside of that equator. Now, all we're going to do is rotate the fingers when we get to the foul line, and we're dropping that thumb, and we rotate the fingers. We want you to get three different rotations, minimum rotation, medium rotation, or maximum rotation. Maximum rotation for maximum arc and axis tilt management. We want that maximum tilt. We want to arc it out and flip it back to the pocket. We get our fingers there at 7 o'clock inside the equator, and then we rotate maximum rotation. We start out in the first few shots of the evening, we just use minimum rotation, just a medium rotation of about two and a half inches of rotation of the fingers. Think of how much movement you have in your fingers. Then we have minimum rotation where we just move the fingers about an inch. When it's past the ankle, we just more forward roll, less side rotation. That's what we're doing. We're blending the two. We have more forward roll and a minimum side rotation or axis tilt. Now, when we have the medium rotation, we have a blend of two. We have axis, tilt, rotation, and roll. And here we have more rotation and a little less roll. And when it hits the back ends, boy, it'll really snap. If there's a dry section on that lane, you can really open the lane up. So simply stated, do two things. Go to your bowling center and practice. Straight wrist and then back it off. What's that do to my ball? Load it up. What does that do to my ball? Then from the hand action position, finger rotation, mid minimum rotation, medium rotation, maximum rotation. Go practice both the wrist and the rotation. And boy, you're on your way to really being able to play different conditions at a real high level.